Praise the Lord. Uh, because of our visitor, I want to say some things before we start. The, you are welcome to Deeper Life Bible Church of Charlotte Fee. The church headquarters is in Nigeria, where we both have more than one million people as a member. So as we are migrating to the United States, by the grace of the law, we are under uh, grace to start a part of the church in the United States. So we have branches almost all over the United States. And as you are seeing us, you will see, we are going to listen to our general superintendent today. We are going to see the choir and then you are going to see our Bible reading. You are going to see everything how we uh, use technology to do everything. One of the reasons why we use technology is first thing because of my accent. Many people they don't get my accent. I'm surprised that you always get it, but many people don't get my accent, and I don't want them to come to the church and go empty and dead. So I have to be using all the resources I have to make sure that people are blessed when they come to the church. Another thing is the short of workers. You will see that it's only me and my children. My wife is not around is in the school. And then to see people who can really understand what the word of the Lord means, to bring them to people is very difficult. So we have to be using technology so that uh, we will not be the person that is preaching something, but we are doing something outside. So we have to be using technology. Uh, another thing is that uh, now the technology has gone so far that many people are using it for evangelism. And then if we decided to stay behind, people will, uh, will go so far before we made them up. So you can see us very minimal, not that we are minimal, like today Moya is supposed to be here, but she has a, he has a visitor. Who said Sabi, Sabi is from Afghanistan, is supposed to be here. Uh, on Monday, we have some people that come on Monday, like James uh, and then uh, Diane. So we, always be many on Monday, like on, like on Sunday. So, and then uh, it is my wish, by the grace of the Lord, that you will become a member. And then you will be joining us. You will enjoy it, I promise you. You will enjoy it, and then it is something you will be able to spread to other people to be joining us. So, as we are going on, you will be understanding us more and more. Uh, the metric has been with us for more than six years. The same thing with uh, laser. Uh, in the United States, I'm very sorry to say this, it's like you need to be begging people to worship God, <laughs> unlike Africa, whereby everybody is really seeking for face of God. But in the United States, it's not like that. So, but we are doing all what we can do that we do not let behind, and the grace of the Lord we, is continue to help us. This is my, my child, this is my firstborn. His name is Akin Wume. Mostly people call him AK. And then you must have been seeing my daughter every time with me. Anytime I come there, his name is Queen. Oh, my wife is not around. We have my mother-in-law upstairs because of old age. She couldn't be going up and down. And then as you are watching us, uh, we are broadcasting in YouTube. So many people around the world, they are watching us. We have more than 15,000 members in YouTube that they can watch us anytime. Immediately we start the service now, you will see me going there, sitting down there. I will be trying the people that we have started the service. Please join us. Somebody just called me now that is going to be with us too. So I say all these things so that you can know that you are in a big church 
not the way we are small here. We are in a very big joy, and as we are going on, you will see what I mean. Uh, the person you are looking at that will come up on the is from our headquarter uh, in Lagos. We have our headquarter in Washington this year by Pastor Dada. I wish you meet him. You will like him so much. So, and then, in fact, anytime you want to go to Washington DC to go, come out, to go and say hello to him, I'm ready to take you there. You will be happy to see him. He's a very good man. Uh, we shall go into convention in North Carolina in, I think, in July. So, anybody that wants to go, you can let me know. Uh, we will learn to tell. We will be there for four days. Then on the fifth day, we are going to be coming back. Now, as far as the DC has given us bus, we don't have transportation problem. But anybody that wants to go can tell me, you arrange with your worker all the necessary things they can prepare ahead so that we will rent to tell there. And then we uh, we will be able to uh, the, because I know the financial situation of everybody, uh, you may not bother to pay for the hotel. Uh, we do all work and do the church can bear the responsibility, and they will, they are going to be supplying us food. They not only that you know that God has blessed us with food. By the time we pack all our house to the North Carolina, <laughs> we will not feel hungry. So there will not be problem. So if there's anything, also we are going to start the retreat. Um, I think, uh, I'm very sorry to be saying this, my leader must not hear me, that I don't know the the date. Uh, that will be uh, in April, 14 to 19. 14 to 19, if I'm not mistaken. So, but it's going to be a regional, whereby we are going to be, we come, if we decided to do it, we can be gathering here, then maybe within five to nine, and then after we finish, I will take us home. We have boss, we don't have problem with all that, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. So after I said that, uh, I welcome you once again. I know you will enjoy it. It is my belief that you will continue to come. Many people cannot stay because of the rigid, rigidness of the word of the Lord. We are hearing here that, uh, that they cannot cope with. So that's why you see many people come, they leave, they come. But the, that's the kingdom of God. It doesn't allow anything to go along with this. But our pastor is very somebody that strongly believes in the word of the Lord. If the Bible says, turn your head like this, our pastor believes that you must turn your head like this. So... And then many people are not ready to accept the word of the Lord as it is. So that's why you see many people, they come and they live. But if you are somebody that loves the word of the Lord, I'm telling you, you will like deeper life of Bible church. And then once again, I welcome you. And the grace of the Lord will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. As you come, you know, uh, I want to say something very rare today. Uh, you may not know, everybody may not know. Apart from what our leader do, God built the church. I do, I do, there's a lot of things I always talk to him that I don't like he's doing. But God built this church on this man. Because when everybody left, he was the only one that remained with us. He was the only one that remained with us. So it is through him you see all what God is doing. And it is my prayer that he will not lose his reward in heaven in Jesus' name. And all other things I don't like about him, I know by the grace of the Lord, he's going to drop it in Jesus' name. But he, but he has been so faithful. He has been so faithful. As you see him, uh, I can't play with him. We may fight, we may not like each other, we may, but I can't play with him. Uh, and then you can see Sister Lisa, God has been blessing him. Although too high, too uh, we may fight, we may, <laughs> yeah, I don't like this, I don't like that. Last Sunday he said that we will not come to church again. 
<laughs> so, but still, they are still my best friend that God is using to uphold the church. So what am I trying to say is that do not think that God cannot use you. God can use you mightily, fully for this church in the name of Jesus Christ. What we are looking for now is to get a building, and I'm praying that God will surprise us. God has been helping us in many ways. The two cars, when I got accident, the, the two cars was given to me free. Free. Somebody just called me, come and take this, and our general, I mean, our general, our general our pastor, I mean, overseer called me to come and take the bus. I'm expecting that miracle for the building. And I know that God is going to do it in Jesus' name. So let us rise up to pray. Let us rise up to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you, Lord, for the testimony you have let us share to our visitor for how God has been helping us in this church. We glorify your name because you are Lord, you never change. Father, I'm praying by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ as we are come today, we will see you in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. As we come, Father, nobody among us will go empty-handed in Jesus' name. We remember Sabi, we remember Moya, we remember Diane, we remember all other people that are supposed to be here today, but we are not seeing them. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, their love to God, we will let it to increase more in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. We shall open our hymn to hymn 72. Hymn 72. But holy lean on Jesus' name. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. His oath, his covenant, his blood support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other grounds is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand.
Before the Sunday message today, we shall have a brief period of scripture reading. The Gospel according to St. John. The Gospel according to St. John. John 6. John 6. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes, and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred pennyworth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, in number about five thousand, and Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together, and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. And when even was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea, and entered into a ship, and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea, and drawing nigh unto the ship, and they were afraid. But he saith unto them, It is I. Be not afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there save that one wherein two his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone, howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread, after that the Lord had given thanks. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily I say unto you, Ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, what sign showest thou then, that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. 
But I said unto you that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Jews then murmured at him, because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof, and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live for ever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live for ever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is an hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back, and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. May God help us to be doers of the word. Amen.